space. The final frontier. These are the voyages. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, <laughs> wrong thing, my bad. <clears throat> when it comes to space, the mission has always been to go and touch other planets, go to places outside of our solar system and beyond. And for a time, we were determined to do nothing more than to get to the moon, land there, and cement our place on it. But then as time went on, it just became less and less entertaining to go into space. We lost our drive. Then a company called SpaceX came in and suddenly everything changed, especially for NASA. Allow us to show you how SpaceX bested NASA at space travel. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. The Difference Between SpaceX and NASA Given the high-profile nature of each company, it's a bit easy to confuse SpaceX and NASA and not realize what the two actually do and why the latter has come to rely on the former. So here's a quick overview of the two. SpaceX is a private company under the direction of one person, Elon Musk, that currently builds and launches two rockets, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The booster stages of these rockets usually return to Earth for refurbishment, which saves money and helps SpaceX undercut competitors' prices. SpaceX also builds and flies Dragon, a space capsule that can carry crew and cargo to the International Space Station. The company eventually plans to fly private astronauts on Dragon. SpaceX is working on a large rocket and spacecraft system called Starship that will be able to carry massive payloads to space. Starship may eventually ferry people to Mars for permanent habitation. The company is also deploying a massive constellation of small satellites called Starlink, intended to provide global high-speed internet access. The satellites, which number around 1,000 at present, have sparked controversy because of concerns they might create light pollution and interfere with astronomical research. NASA, meanwhile, is a taxpayer-funded U.S. government agency with more than a dozen locations around the country. It reports to the executive branch and the president appoints its administrator. Congress legislatively authorizes NASA's activities and provides its annual budget. NASA's budget is set through a political process and is not distributed evenly. Nearly half of NASA's budget goes to human spaceflight programs. For much of the public, the most visible of these programs is the International Space Station, a permanently crewed multinational space laboratory in low Earth orbit. NASA is also working to send astronauts to the Moon and Mars through its Artemis program. About a third of NASA's budget goes to its science division, which includes planetary science, earth science, astrophysics, and heliophysics. NASA launches space missions to research and explore planets and other worlds, study Earth's climate, answer fundamental questions about the nature of the universe, and study the sun. The differences may seem subtle, but they're there, and they're important, which leads us to the first reason that SpaceX beat NASA in space travel. Number five, they don't have anyone to tell them to give up. Let's rewind the clocks back to the 1960s, shall we? It was in that decade that humanity as a whole had a mission, get to the moon. Spurred on by the words of President John F. Kennedy, NASA was working harder than ever to go and get to the moon before the Soviet Union could. The space race was on, and eventually the United States won the space race via Apollo 11. Led by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, humanity set foot on the surface of the moon and was set for its next stage. Or so we thought. Because as time went on, the luster of going to the moon multiple times and getting space rocks just didn't matter to the people of the planet anymore. And as the decades went on and the cost of making new shuttles rose, not to mention the tragedies that befell crafts like the Challenger, it just became clear to the government that NASA wasn't as needed in the space shuttle department. That's why by the 90s and the oddies, the budget of NASA was slashed heavily and they couldn't exactly get more money since they were a government-run entity that depended on taxpayer dollars. SpaceX, though, doesn't have that problem, and thus they have way more freedom, in more ways than one. Number 4. The Cost of Making Ships The irony of the existence of SpaceX is many-fold, not the least of which is its creator and Elon Musk, who's the kind of guy to go and do things because he feels they're right, versus having a major plan and all that. In regards to SpaceX, his goal was to inspire humanity and NASA to get back into the game by creating a new space race. 
His original plan was to go and buy Russian rockets and then outfit them himself via his new company to get NASA to see that there was still value in going into space. But the Russians wouldn't deal, and that's when Elon realized something else. NASA doesn't make their own ships. Rather, they get the parts from all over the world and ship them to their centers for construction. That takes a lot of time and money, and Elon realized that he could just make all the space shuttle parts in a singular company, and not only would he get the work done faster, but he'd get it done at a fraction of the costs. That's part of the reason why SpaceX is beating NASA in various departments, and why NASA uses SpaceX ships to do missions for the International Space Station, because they're able to make their ships more quickly and more cheaply than NASA. Which brings us to number three, NASA needs SpaceX. Despite all appearances, NASA doesn't do as much as it once did, and even with the Artemis program set in 2004 by President Bush to try and get humans back to the moon, they're not exactly making a lot of progress. Meanwhile, SpaceX is making all sorts of progress on their Starship, even with certain… setbacks. See explosions on the launch pad. That's why NASA actually invested in SpaceX in order to get access to their crafts. In 2006, NASA began investing in private space companies with the hope that they could one day provide cargo and crew transportation to the International Space Station. SpaceX was one of the first companies to receive money from NASA. The company was just four years old at the time. NASA paid for roughly half the cost to develop SpaceX's workhorse, the Falcon 9 rocket. In 2008, SpaceX received a multi-billion dollar contract to fly cargo to the ISS. The company was on the verge of bankruptcy and likely would have run out of money without NASA. Today, SpaceX generates revenue from a variety of customers, but a significant portion of its funding comes from flying crew and cargo to the ISS, as well as launching NASA science spacecrafts. SpaceX also flies payloads for the U.S. Department of Defense, another taxpayer-funded entity. So as you can see, while SpaceX gets money from NASA, they don't need them per se because they've proven they can get ships into space on their own. But NASA needs SpaceX so that it can do its mission for the ISS as well as get their materials into space much faster than if they were to do it on their own. Number 2. The Whims of Politicians versus the Whims of Elon Musk Easily one of the best cases for why SpaceX is beating NASA is simply who is running the show. As stated before, NASA is run by the government, and that means that politicians and the president have direct control over what NASA can and can't do. A great example is their shuttle program. It shut down in 2011, and despite plans ordered by the president himself, a replacement was not made in time due to the shifting budget and notions by the government. It weighs NASA down heavily. In contrast, SpaceX is only limited by Elon Musk, and he's a man who's driven to get people back into space and beyond, and thus, they never have to fear him going, Nah, scrap this and let's go into a completely random direction. As an engineer, Elon looks at the problem and tries to see how it can best be fixed. So the only time he'll scrap something is if he knows it won't work and thus will hinder the project. He wants SpaceX to succeed with all he has and thus will push hard to make it happen. Number 1. Getting Us to Mars Officially, both NASA and SpaceX have plans to take us to Mars in the current decade. But at present, SpaceX seems like the more viable candidate to get us there. What's more, they're very much the reason the Mars missions were even truly thought of because of what they brought to the game. Elon isn't just planning the Mars mission, he's already thinking of how to set up a colony there. And people are hanging on to his every word at times as he explains how going to Mars will be great for humanity as a whole. Thanks to Elon Musk, people believe in going to space once again and are setting their sights on Mars, and that's all because of SpaceX. So what do you think? What do you think of SpaceX and how they've not just beaten NASA when it came to space travel, but have helped it be revitalized in the eyes of the people? Do you think that between SpaceX and NASA we're going to be able to go and reach Mars within a certain amount of time? Do you think that their collaborations are going to lead to new and better things? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.